It's DDK and I'm back today with another video. Guess what, baby? Today we are going to try the new Ghost Pepper Whopper, baby. The presentation look, it's looking a little fat. That joint look a little big. <laughs> Let's open this joint up, baby. We ain't come to play no games, we got to do our thing. Open this joint up. From what I know, the bun is supposed to be orange with black sesame seed. Ooh, that joint look crazy. Ooh, wee. <laughs> that look, it's so orange. I've never seen orange bread before like this. So what we have here is the spicy cheese sauce they got right there. We have real jalapenos and we have crispy jalapenos right on this joint. Y'all see that baby? Look at the presentation. Down below we have the patty, we have regular cheese, and then we have bacon. We ain't making on bacon? We got bacon. So just so you guys know, I do not eat pork. No pork on my fork, baby. So we gotta take this the swine diggity off. And guess what else? I had to switch this patty out for impossible patty because I do not eat beef. Because I don't want no beef. I don't want no beef, baby. You want beef? I got shells. Hamburger help ya. I'm going to tell you guys this. It's been a long time since I ate Burger King, so I don't know how it's going to taste. Comment below and let me know what you guys think about the sandwich. But the presentation looking good so far. I'm going to show you the bottom of that burger. Bottom of that thing. Side of that thing. Got the cheese on there. I don't eat cheese either, but I'm eating just for you guys. So just smash that subscribe button just for that. First bite. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. You ready? So. Jesus. I first want to start off by saying, for those of you who never tried an Impossible Burger, you should definitely try it. It's banging. It tastes just like the real Whopper. Now, I'm going to rate this one out of 10. The presentation is amazing. It's very nice. I'm going to give that a 9. The ingredients, I'm going to give that a 9. The burger, I'm going to keep it G River to cuz. That burger, smack it. This joint is smacking, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you. This joint is smacking. And the one thing I like about it a lot is the crispy jalapeno stuff right here. It just add that extra little flavor on that joint. And it got a little corns to it. So it makes me think in my head that I'm eating some bacon, but I'm not eating bacon. <laughs> so I was, I, was, I was a little skeptical about that. But this joint right here is banging. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. You should go out there and get you one right now. And I like, I like how they got the the orange. This is my first time eating the orange bun, but this joint is banging. Let me take another bite. Ooh, good. Now, we're gonna talk about the spices level. Ghost is definitely not a ghost pepper here, as far as I know, because it's definitely a lot of spicy. I, I, the spice, I'll probably get like a four out of 10. Honestly, kids can even eat this. Kids will like this. You got the orange thing on here. It's not too spicy. It'll be perfect for the kids. But this joint is banging. I recommend it. Every one of you guys go out here and try this joint. And comment below and let me know what you think. Once you try it, comment below and let me know what you think. Even if you want to, go ahead and make a video of it. But this joint, I'm definitely eating this. This joint banging. Y'all thought I was done, did y'all? Not. <laughs> I got something else for you guys, baby. So this is another ghost pepper whopper, but I substituted the whopper for a chicken, baby. So anybody who out there watching this video, just know I, you, it happened here first, baby. It happened here first. So I substitute everything. I just put the chicken on that. Fuck, fuck, chicken, chicken. So it's actually a crispy chicken sandwich. So uh, they ain't even put that sauce on there. What happened? They out of pocket. They ain't put that sauce on that John. Burger King. We specifically told you to put that sauce on there. We told you to do everything that you did on the other one, but put the sauce on there. Let me take this bacon off. Look. So that's already starting off as a negative. And I'm gonna tell you guys my, my personal opinion of which one is better, but I ain't gonna be able to give you a full review because they ain't put the sauce on there. You know what I'm talking about? First off, this presentation is okay. It's not better than the other one, but it does look decent. I don't know about the chicken and cheese thing. I don't know. I never really had chicken and cheese together, so I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. But they definitely didn't put the sauce on there, so I'm gonna have to go with what I gotta go with, baby. Go ahead and get a bite of that joint. We do have the jalapenos and everything on there, so get a little bit of that cheese off. That cheese, look. The cheese almost as orange as <laughs> the cheese almost as orange as this joint. 
Let me get a little bit of that cheese off, man, because I ain't gonna know that that cheese makes the stomach hurt so bad. Okay, y'all ready? I'm gonna give it <coughs> wipe myself off. I'm going with six out of ten. The chicken is not bad, don't get me wrong. The chicken does not taste bad. It's nice and seasoned, it got the pepper on there and all that, like a regular chicken sandwich. But they did not put that sauce because it makes it a little dry. Like the joint a little dry in it. That joint is a little dry. That joint definitely do a job. You should definitely put, put that sauce on that too much sauce. They ain't put no sauce on this joint. So, in my honest opinion, which one is better? I will go with that one because we are missing the sauce. So I don't really know how it's really gonna taste. Comment below and let me know what you guys think about it. Let me take another bite. Let me bite that jaw. Um, let me be honest with you. This tastes like a regular chicken sandwich. It don't taste like nothing special. It don't taste like nothing. It don't taste like no, uh, ghost pepper. It don't taste like nothing. It got a little spice to it, but it tastes like more like pepper versus the spice of the uh, jalapenos. Maybe because they don't have the sauce on here. It tastes just like a regular chicken sandwich. So, that other joint is way better to me. So, the chicken sandwich was definitely a fail, baby. That was an epic fail. It's all because, <coughs> hey, Burger King, get it together. Now, I do definitely recommend you guys go out there and get that Whopper Burger, baby. That Whopper, that ghost pepper Whopper one, that joint smack it. Go ahead and go try it, and you guys wanna make sure you do it because it's only a limited time offer right now, and you guys know what's gonna happen. A whole bunch of YouTubers gonna do, start reviewing this, and everybody gonna go out there and try it, and then they're gonna be sold out, just like they was with the Wingstop Burger, baby. So, go ahead and go try it. If you haven't subscribed, again, smash the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip those ads. Comment below and let me know if you like videos like this, baby. Comment below and let me know, so we can go, you know what I'm talking about? But, I'll see you guys on the next one. We go, we go, we fooling, you already know the DDK, and I'm on my way.